This is a wonderful evening. It's probably one of the greatest days of my life. And I had the honor to escort my beautiful daughter to her anxious and waiting husband. <laughs> I, I don't really have much to say, but I think I should tell you a little story about Roxanne. My dearest Michael, words simply cannot express how happy I am today that our love, union, and bond will be brought together in holy matrimony and in the presence of those we care about the most. It was a long journey to get here, but it was certainly worth the wait, and I would do it all over again just to be with you. I thank you for your unwavering love, respect, and support. You're truly my soulmate and partner for life. It is indeed a privilege to honor and to love you. I look forward to this new adventure in our life, our many years of happiness ahead, and dreams fulfilled. I'm so happy to marry you today. Love always, Roxanne. Sweetheart, our big day is finally here. Not a day passes that I don't realize how fortunate I am to be with you. Never will I betray you, and everlasting love and companionship are my gifts to you. Love always, Michael. Today's ceremony is about the unique love that is shared by Roxanne and Michael. It is about who they are as people, about what brought them together, and about sharing with us some of the love that they share with each other. I can't thank you enough for making my girls so happy. You're smart, compassionate, loyal, and funny. It is with comfort knowing that Ross will always have you by her side. You guys mix together well. You're happy together. You're alive together. You love each other, and that's very evident from moment one that we met. Throughout this ceremony, Michael and Roxanne have vowed in our presence to be loyal and loving towards each other. They have formalized the existence of the bond between them with words spoken and with the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, it is my pleasure to now present them as husband and wife. Michael, you may now kiss your bride. 